So for our intake, we use some surgical tubing mounted to a wheel. And because we have limited space here, we, uh, 90, we mounted the motor at 90 degrees and we used some Ectobotics uh, 90 degree bevel gears to do it. And it also gears it two to one. So we used a 435 RPM motor from the old Go Builder chassis for the intake motor. So for our bucket design, we just made it out of sheet metal. We tried making it out of cardboard first, which worked, but we wanted to make it a little lighter and stronger. And so we have a lip in here so that once the freight goes in, it doesn't fall back out. And for controls, we use the triggers for up and down. And as it goes down, it, as you see, it shifts itself a little bit farther down, so that when it reaches all the way to the bottom, it's flush with the ground. So then we run the intake, get something in there. And as you start to move up, the bucket tips itself back up a little bit so that the freight won't fall out. Once you get to the top, you dump it. And then as you hit the down, uh, as you hit the control to make it come down, the bucket automatically tips back down so it's ready for the next one. I'll just cut it.